So the bus was in the ditch all the way almost on its side. Melissa Phillips describes the scene she pulled up to Tuesday afternoon. They were petrified. After her son hadn't arrived home from his first day of first grade. So when I pull up, I see the kids are still on the bus. You can see some of them hanging out of the window, but the bus completely sideways. One tire is on the road, so it's unstable. The packed Chesterfield bus was traveling on Duval Road from Grange Hall Elementary when witnesses say another bus was passing and it ended up in this ditch to avoid it. I'm concerned that our road is too small to, for it to be safe for that much traffic, let alone all the extra buses. And the message, Casey Terrell know, says she's taken to the county and school system about the narrow, unmarked road she lives on, one that has become a temporary detour for two nearby construction projects. They've told me no safety concern. We'll keep an eye on it. Cars are flying past, even two vehicles, it's hard to pass, so two buses can't pass by, and so they're forced off of the road, and it's something that Chesterfield knew about but didn't take our concerns into their thoughts and the safety of our children until something like this happened. They look like they're off the road. Terrell snapped these pictures hours before the accident, she says, to plead with school leaders for a safer alternative. I'm really angry that I spent a majority of my summer trying to make you hear me and here on the first day of school this happens. First responders say the kids were evaluated for heat related issues, but CCPS says all were safely reunited with their parents. We will keep speaking up until they do change. You know, these are our children, our, their lives are what matters most and we will be heard until changes are made.